Chris. Hi, I'm going to smile. I'm going to smile. Um, we've just lost again. Have we? We did. Talk me through it. I'm going to be really gracious in defeat today, Jack. <laughs> I think we were absolutely... We were rubbish. Yeah. We were so, so poor. So poor. Um, you know, I said it when the goal went in. Russ had floated off. I love, mm. I love Russ as a you person. He was, he was floating off. He was away with the fairies. And he left Ryan Bennett to try and cover him. And then he's all over the shop. He is his man that crossed the ball in. It was, a, it was a good header. You can't take that away from West Brom. It was a good header. Should we have stopped the cross? Definitely. Mm. It's not good enough. Every single week, absolutely poor, poor, poor. I really want to swear. I'm trying not to. The defence is so bad. It's so bad. And mm. in fairness to Ryan Bennett today, he came in. He made a massive difference. Um, I thought him and Brady were probably the shining lights in our performance today. Um, people were calling for Cameron Jerome to come on. I thought Ember Carney did an all right job today. I don't think he was getting the right service. Um, I thought in the first 30 minutes, Jarvis played exceptionally well. But then in the second half, his crosses were too deep. Um, you know, Ruddy's still flapping. He's not commanding his box. Uh, in fairness, he couldn't have done anything about the goal today. It's all very negative stuff, Jack. We should have signed a defender in January. We have to go back to that. It's been, a, it's been, it's been the main problem for us this season. We didn't sign a big centre-back. I mean, at Newcastle, we were just absolutely woeful. And it was kind of funny how bad we were. Today, like, there's not a player that was really crap out there. Everyone was just crap, and that's what really worries me. It's not funny. It's not funny. I love this club, and I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely, as a fan, thank God I didn't go to Newcastle. And I can't believe I've said that. All of those fans that went all the way to Newcastle to watch that shitey, shitey performance. Disgusting. Mm. Honestly disgusting. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Today, the only two players that came over to the Barclay, Jarvis and Redmond, the all, all the rest, heads down, walking off, no interest. Yeah. And it's just not good enough, mate. It's really not good enough. I mean, yeah, I don't even know what to say. I mean, we started the season really nicely. We're all optimistic, playing nice football. What we're doing is scoring goals, though. We haven't really seen many goals recently. What... I, I, what what needs to change? I think I, I think I do think we're still playing good football. I do still think really? we're playing. I do I do I do. The only difference is if we look, for example, if we'd defended well today, mm. yeah, and we would actually maybe scored one of our. But it's been chances. like that for the past month. It's I been know, the same for the I past know, month. I know. But the defence is the major problem. The defence is the major problem. What that do is... we What do we do? Because we can't do anything until January. We've yeah, got right. Man City coming up. I think Probably score like down, seven. This is all down to Alex Neal now. This is Alex Neal's. But he couldn't have done anything different out there. No, 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 no. I mean, I mean, not today's game. Going forwards, the next four games, ridiculously huge. These are Alex Neal's game mm. because the players clearly, whatever's happening, isn't working. It's down to Alex Neal now to motivate them. I think he will, but um, we shouldn't have let the Newcastle defeat get to us. As players, you rub yourself off, you you go again. Mm. And they didn't do that. They still had that 6-2 defeat in their minds and it's just not good enough, Jack. Russ, would you have dropped him? <laughs> oh, Honestly, it's just come the, on. The, the problem I, don't, is, I don't care if he's a nice guy. Honestly. I care. He, he is such a nice guy. Um, he, I'm a nice guy. I'm not out there playing football, am I? <laughs> I think Stevie Witts was unlucky. For un, unlucky? Unlucky. I think he was very, very unlucky to, uh, to not play today. Russ, yeah. I think it was Russ's time to go off. I think Alex Neal gave him one more chance, I mm. think. But again, he's played in centre back all, all year. Just got used to his position. He's chucked him out of right back. I'm, I'm trying to give him excuses. I can't though anymore. No. He was so poor today. He's floating off and not getting the balls in. But I think overall, as a defensive unit, it's not just Russ. It's the whole defence. And I, I, I'm really hoping that Ryan Bennett stays in there mm. now because good, I, I do think he was really, really solid. Won every header he got. Um, the chance to get to I thought it was brilliant it was really really good another player you were really critical of I was sitting next to you Mr Mr John Ruddy talk me through it John Ruddy against Newcastle six shots on target six yeah. goals that's all I'm saying yeah I, yeah. and all I'm saying is his defence didn't back him his defence didn't back him and I've stuck by John throughout his whole Norwich career when everyone's been saying he should be subbed you know it's time for Declan Rudd Declan Rudd is a fantastic goalkeeper but in the Premier League, we do need that experience, and John Ruddy has got that experience. Um, we don't have someone else with that goalkeeping experience. I just think today he's just—he's not commanding his box. Mm, that's the thing, isn't it? He's not. I don't think. Um, I'm trying to think what Gunny would say, but I don't think he's commanding his box, mm. and 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 that's really really important. And 
I don't think he, he's, he's not backing himself. I mean, no. you saw he kind of he kind of came in yeah, and floated yeah, out. Yeah. He's all over the shop. What's he doing? Mm. You know, you make a decision to come out and punch it, or you stay in and, and, and you know try and use your reflexes. Mm. I don't think it's confident stuff, but I don't think his defence are putting the wall up against him. The shit. I mean, let's look at West Brom today. My Hill. Yeah. He's not a he's not a class goalie. He's not a good. Kept he, the most amount of clean sheets in the league. He's not a class goalie. Yeah, but the difference is is that Pulis has mm. got them defending as a unit. Mm ridiculously well you don't see any of their players run off down the pitch mm. I mean Basong Basong was playing up front for five minutes today what's that all about it's just it's dangerous a really interesting out. thing I heard was you know when the West Brom fans came over they yeah. said this is the game plan we saw in the first 30 minutes that we were on top of the game we were yep. the better team we score Should there they've got to come out of there and that's yeah. when you score your second in the Premier League you don't score goals upon goals when you're not you know when you, you've got to be scoring when you're playing at the best of your ability we haven't done that this season Really bloody frustrating, yeah. Chris. You, I mean, uh, probably a f- any better. there's a few Norwich players probably watching. If you've got any words to say to the, what what do we need to do? Send send a rallying call to the okay. team. Uh, go, yeah, take the mic. Go on. Come on, lads. You can do this. Man City, huge game. Score some goals and defend as a unit. Be confident. Let's 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 fucking do this. Come on, Norwich. Come on. <laughs>